one. <laughs> right center and deep. And that baby's gone. Davis, right center, did he get enough? And that baby's gone! Chris Davis walks it off for the A's. They creep a little bit closer to postseason. Davis, the second one, wins it for the Athletics in the bottom of the 10th inning. You just sort of had a feeling that Chris Davis would be a hero tonight. He was early, and he ends up winning it. Walk-off home run, 45th home run of the year, Ray. And, Kai, if you think about sliders the way, back-to-back -back sliders, he swung at one. You stay away from him. You think you're going to sneak a fastball by him? Forget it. Especially if you stay away. And we talked about you tip your hat to somebody that can go opposite field with a home run. Well, tip your hat to Chris Davis. He did it twice tonight, just to the left of the 388. And the bench, of course, extremely happy. They saw a four to nothing lead disappear. They saw Mark Canna tie it. And Chris Davis with a walk-off to win it and a little jump shot. Again by Chris Davis. Do anything you want to, big boy, because you got 45. It's right center, though, not to straight away. <laughs> so three home runs for the A's tonight, all big ones. Chris Davis is the hero. Wow, unbelievable. 45 home runs, 119 so that RBIs. Is that is something special, and uh, and we've said it all year. These aren't just meaningless home runs. Right. He's hit a right. bunch late, and uh, none bigger than the one tonight. I've had people ask me. Why do you even pitch Chris Davis? Well, you think you can get him out. That pitch is up and away. I mean, you think you can, yeah, you can pitch him that way, but he has tremendous power to the opposite field. Nobody I have ever seen that, that kind of power to the opposite field that Chris Davis has shown consistently throughout his career with the Athletics. So, Ray, the A's magic number sits at three, so the earliest that they could clinch a postseason berth would be Sunday. Right. Right here at the yeah. Coliseum, so uh, that is a possibility. Well, that requires some help from the Toronto Blue Jays, where the Rays are playing, but also from the Athletics are winning. But they won a game like tonight, and I think this just shows, as Dallas talked about with Bob Melvin, to be able to use the pinch hitters as he did with Mark Canna against a tough lefty. He hits the home runner, and then of course Chris Davis does the same thing. All right, Dallas Braden is standing by with tonight's hero, one Mr. Chris Davis. Dallas. All right, I'm with our man Chris Davis. KD, let's just take a little moment and listen to the fan base here. They're chanting three letters, my friend, and I want you to soak every bit of this up. Well, you were doing work early in the ball game, my friend. You go big fly, you jump ship. We come back here to the ninth inning. He starts you off a little wrinkle, trying to go soft to KD. The crusher. We know better. Take us through that mindset. Take us through that last AB. Uh, I was just uh, trying to get on base and swinging a good pitch, basically. Well, that's exactly what happened, my friend. Doing damage. We're clapping hands here. Now, I'll tell you what. The fans can feel it. We can feel it. Big Mo, momentum knocking at the door. Do you believe in momentum? And is that what we've got going on right now in the East Bay? Yeah, we're about to go to the playoffs. That's what, that's what our goal is. 
Well, KD, I'm gonna let you get out of here, man. You go clap hands. You're doing big things. Let's let the rest of these fans enjoy your handiwork, my friend. Appreciate your time. All right, thanks, D. Go Oakland.